What's up YouTube, Orange Juice here. Today I am going to be doing a review of the Bumblebee model kit from Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Um, you're just seeing the end of the build process, which is quite a simple build process. I'd say it's pretty fun, but it's very simple. Like, if you've built Gundams before, this is nothing like that. If anything, it's more like building like um, a Bionicle, if anything. Like, it's a lot of ball and socket joints. So, as you can see, I've just finished the build in this, um, well, it's not really a time lapse, but yeah. So, here's a couple photos I took, but now on to the review. So, um, I'll catch up with you in 3, 2, 1. So, now we've got the build done, time to take a look at the figure itself. I'm calling it a figure and not a kit, because it's not really a model kit. Like, if you've if you watched the build earlier... You know that it's barely a building experience. Most of it's done for you. So I actually got a little theory about that. My theory is that the is that yellow part, they wanted to make a um, Transformers action figure line. And they designed figures, right? That's what they designed. But then Hasbro told them, you can't make figures. That's our license. Also, it's like other companies. But like, you can't do that. But you can make a model kit. So, they just got their ideas for an action figure and turned them into a model kit. But, this figure is very nice. As you can see from that opening bit, and some photos I'm going to show. Also, this pose I just got him in right now. This figure is incredibly poseable, and the proportions look very dynamic. And he's just a lot of fun to play, mess around with and play with. Scale-wise, it's a little bigger than um, I'd usually go for for a Bumblebee. But honestly, I'm cool with it. I think it's big it's like big enough to be substantial but small enough to work with a lot of your other stuff. For example, here is trans as you saw in the opening bit of this video. My fully a party boy. I got my boy um Transformers Um Kingdom Galvatron. As you can see, I think Bumblebee's around like maybe a deluxe to Voyage or something. Hang on, I'll just quickly grab another size comparison. Alright, another size comparison. My size comparisons won't be the most intensive as I don't actually own a ton of Transformers. But here I've got Transformers MP10V Optimus Prime. Honestly, in my opinion, that kind of works, them next to each other. Yeah, probably is a bit bigger than I'd usually have him. So maybe a bigger Optimus would be nice, but really, I don't mind too much. For your comparison, here's Deluxe Class Hound. So you can see he's definitely at least a voyager, this bumblebee. He's very big, but by the way, um, if you don't know, um, I just I've just been throwing out the jargon. If you're not a Transformers fan, there are different sound size classes of figures. There's um what Legends, Deluxe, and Voyager, Leader, and something else. But so yeah, just so you can understand the jargon. But um yeah, overall, what do I think of this figure? I think it's a very fun figure, very poseable, and also, I'm pretty sure it's not too expensive. So, if you want, like, a nice fun figure, it's pretty cool. As a model kit, it's not the most complex build in the world. Like, it's not complex at all. Weirdly, it reminds me a lot of, um, Bionicles. It gives me a lot of Bionicle vibes. But, overall, I really like this figure. Like, it's just a lot of fun. But, um, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you had a very Merry Christmas, because, yeah, Christmas was um, very fun. This video is um, on Boxing Day. So, overall, um, yeah, hope you enjoy yourself, and have a very Merry Christmas. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.